Hey everybody, what's going on? How are you doing? Is my microphone... What's going on with this? I should have figured this out before I started. Okay, hello! The alien is still there. Someone asked me if I was ever going to put the hello sign back up. Yeah. Um, it's behind this bookcase or bedstand, night table, what, help bedside table. I don't know what this thing is. It's shelves with a lamp on the top. And I'm looking for my old lady glasses as we speak because I'm just panicking, realizing I don't even have them. I need to start this whole video over. I don't have my glasses. I don't have, here are my scary scissors. But without my glasses, I feel naked and afraid. Am I sitting on them? Are they on my head? No, I've got a hat on my head. Okay, what have I been doing? No, the hello sign. The hello sign is behind the that thing. And I just haven't felt like stretching my body into those proportions to try to get it. Yeah, I'm trying to find my glasses. Are they under this bit? Oh, you know what, what, you know what I'm here for. Now, I said it was going to be a vacuum cleaner review. But oh my gosh, you guys, I read more about the vacuum cleaner and the vacuum cleaner um, is only for hardwood floors, which we do have, but uh, I wanted it for the carpet so desperately. I'm bummed. It's a $500 vacuum cleaner on sale for something like 300 but please when I post that vacuum cleaner review if you could just act interested that would be really kind of you now I don't think I'm ever going to find these glasses so I don't know if I should stop this oh, let's just try to fly blind let me see if my and where are my other glasses I usually I have a backup pair no I gave those to my mom oh no my backup pair I have a backup to my backup pair. I just have to figure, I heard them fall on the floor when the cat tried to jump on the shelf. Well, when, when the cat did jump on the shelf. And now I don't know where my backup to my backup pair is. Oh my gosh, what a disaster. Okay, you know what? We'll just try to wing it without glasses. Although I swear I just had them. Let me stand up and see if I'm sitting on them. No. <sighs> Two minutes and 51 seconds in. Oh, well. I want to, what have I been doing today? You guys, I'm still dressed in the same clothes that you saw me in this morning, or really that was last night. And um, I, uh, yeah, I've been just bumming bumming, bumming. The cat and I played together for about six hours. Then we took a nap. Um, I've been watching YouTube. Here's who I've been watching on YouTube. I've been watching Cindy Reviews For You, and I will link her channel in my description. And she just got approved as a Timu influencer, and she has... And so let me tell you about team, becoming a Timu influencer. Hold on a second. She has 17 subscribers and Timu approved her to be an influencer. So what I'm going to do is put, I, I have the link now. If you have a channel, no matter what size it is, you can be a Timu influencer and get some free products from them and do a video. So she did her first Timu influencer campaign and I was watching that today, and I'll link to that channel, and it's great, and she did a good job. She's a medical, she's in medical transportation. Her first client is at 4 a.m., so she gets up at 3 a.m. every day. That's crazy. I have, I've, I have no right to talk about how tired I am when somebody has a job like that. That's insane. And uh, the other channel I've been watching is Hook me up crochet with Christy. Let me make sure. Yes. Okay. Playing no, from don't play iPhone. from no, don't play from my iPhone. Alexa. Alexa, what's the date? It's Sunday, August 13th. Okay, thank you. Hook me up crochet with Christy. And right now she is 
selling as a fundraiser to help with I, I'm not I'm not caught up on what's going on with Christie's house, but it sounds like something devastating happened to it. And so she's made these beautiful crochet bags to help raise money to pay for her um, home repairs. And I just bought one and they're beautiful. So I've also been watching, she's got like an ASMR quality to her crochet videos, which no, don't worry. She's not crocheting on camera, although that would be cool, but she's just showing what she crocheted. And I was really impressed with those two. So those are two channels I'm going to link below along with the Timu Influencer link. So no matter what size your channel is, you too can become a Timu Influencer and get a little money for some free stuff in a campaign. All right, now that I've run my mouth for five minutes, let's get to this Timu haul, shall we? I'm still majorly stressed about my glasses. I think they're in my bathroom. If it gets so struggle, If it gets so struggly that I can't see, I'll get up and go get them. Okay, hey everybody, and the teddy bear says hello too. All right, the first thing in here, oh, I should probably call up the orders, huh? This video is just already a damn mess. I'll just say it. I'll say the bad word because that's exactly what it is. Okay, so here's the order that they have broken up into something like four different orders. Oh, why did I click that? Why did I click that? All right, here's something I got. Oh, wow. All right, here's something I got for Loki. To sleep in in his plate. Oh, where's Loki? Loki is downstairs in his playpen. I tried to shoot this with Loki, and no, we can't. Loki is not camera ready most of the time. He's not a good co-host like Clover. I don't know where Clover is. She's probably hiding from Loki. Everybody asks me how my cat Clover is doing with Loki. Not so good because he wants to play with claws and teeth, and she is... 14 years old and is not having it and so uh, she always just gives him a good whap and sends him flying across the room so no they're I would not call them good friends but at least she's tolerating him a little bit more than a week ago um, she also does not have claws and he has claws and I know declawing is very controversial, so I won't talk about it. But I had this vet with Clover and Felix talk me into this vet that did this state-of-the-art laser declawing that had no pain and no um, downtime. And you didn't even need that soft lid. It was really expensive. It was like $400 per paw or something. And he talked me into that with Clover and Felix. I don't think I'm going to get Loki declawed. And please, please don't fill up my comments with stuff about declawing cats. I've, I know it all. I've read it all. I know the ASPCA does not condone declawing cats. And I know everything like that. So please don't, don't with the declawing debate. I'm not getting Loki declawed unless he starts really hurting people with his claws. But even then, I'm still going to try to get them trimmed. Okay, so I got this for him to put in his playpen to sleep in. Now, I listen to this, you guys. I paid $6.49 for this, and it is now $11.79. So I'm guessing that this was, and I was partially refunded for this. I got a, I got a price adjustment on this, so I don't know if the prices are going way up on Timu, like to crazy high amounts. Or if um, this was one of those where you go around the square and you end up getting 70% off of one item and this is what I got. Which if I kind of try to do the math in my head, it kind of seems like $6.49 is, would that be, what is 70% off eleven seventy nine? Is it, would that make it $6.49? I don't know, somebody else tell me. 
okay, let me see. I can feel what else is next, and I have a feeling it's not in this order. But my eyes are doing good so far. How are my teeth? Okay, because I've, I've got this new lipstick on, and it's really pink. Okay, next order. Once again, they cram two orders in one bag, two partial orders in one bag to make it even worse. Okay, this is a vase, retro flower vase. And um, it's, it's a flimsy plastic, like if you imagine those plastic jack-o'-lanterns that kids use for trick-or-treating, this is the kind of plastic it is. But it, um, and it's bigger, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Wow. So it's bigger than I thought it would be. Smile for a thumbnail. Cheese. I don't know if this is the most exciting thing in my order or not. I don't have any eye cream on, so my eyes are going to look extra wrinkly. Um, but I thought about, I, I, Posted on my community feed some time ago some of those beautiful autumn flowers, roses and such that were in autumn colors. And I thought they would look pretty in this vase. But wow, this vase is tall, you guys. I mean, I mean, yet another exact time when I didn't look at the dimensions and I paid... 449 and it is now 448 but it is yeah 10 inches tall 10.8 inches tall so I don't know but it looks pretty with the flowers that are in it in the picture and I can make it work I think I don't know I didn't know it would be this it's kind of a guessing game when you order vases on Timu they're either really hard sturdy good plastic or resin or something or they're that okay the next thing in here is okay there are going to be a lot of clothes in this i'm ready for christmas i'm ready for christmas okay this is a red turtleneck ew sweater that says mary although does it can you tell it says Mary or does it just look like a joke? I love the red on me. The red look is going to look good on me if I do say so myself. I was hoping it would be long enough to wear with leggings. But either way, it'll look cute with jeans, I think. I don't know, but I paid $15.69 for it. Which is about what I would pay at Target or... I could probably get it cheaper at somewhere like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something, but I saw it and I thought it looked festive. And speaking of singing, which we weren't really, someone asked me if I was a lounge singer. I don't know if they were being sarcastic or serious. Excuse me, thirsty. In my comments, no, I'm not a lounge singer. My mother was an Argentinian lounge singer when she was about 20, maybe 19 or 20. She was, she sang in lounges in Argentina, in Argentina. When we grew up, she was, she sang a lot to us as kids and we were growing up Spanish and English songs. But um, my mother was a lounge singer. So maybe that's where I get that from. She always sang like a lounge singer when we were growing up. She has a beautiful voice. I haven't heard her sing in since I was a little kid. But um, my mother is a beautiful singer. Okay, what is this? This is a t-shirt that I'm already disappointed in. Because when I first felt it in the bag, I thought it was a sponge. It's a t-shirt with a little black cat drinking coffee on it. And he looks cute. And he's got his little pink cheeks and pink paws. And it's semi-soft. I mean, it could be worse. It's not scuba diving material. But it's not soft, soft cotton. But it's more like um, the same texture as this shirt I've been wearing for like three days or whatever. 
this be kind rainbow shirt. It's kind of the same as that. So I think when I wash it, it'll soften up. Let me see if I can find the tag and I forgot I don't have my glasses. It is 100% polyester, but somehow they got it to feel a little bit cottony. And what did I pay for this t-shirt? Is it in this order? Come on, Timu, don't do me like that. Okay, it's in this order. It is $9.98. And it's still $9.98. And it's still in stock. And it is cute. And I got it in 1XL instead of 2 which is progress for me because usually I buy everything 2XL. Do you guys, does anybody old as me remember that robot when we were kids named 2XL and you put cassette tapes in him? In, no, not cassette, eight track tapes in, in him and he played games with you and stuff. I don't know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google 2XL and then 80s or something. Okay, this is another t-shirt because I don't have any t-shirts. And I could have sworn, I think I already have this t-shirt, you guys. Or I have some variation of it. It is a heart with leopard prints. And it is also semi-soft. Why did I buy it? I have no idea. Because I liked it. And I work hard, and uh, it was only six ninety seven. And Dale Carnegie. Now I did go to the. I'm sorry, the da Dave Ramsey Financial Peace. I did go to Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University. This is an XXL, and one of the biggest excuses people make when they frivolous. frivolous frivolously spend money is I work hard so I deserve it so I know I just caught myself there saying that and Dave Ramsey would slap me on the hand hard if you heard that or I don't know him personally but I know some people who have worked for him never mind okay he's great all right next is another shirt and this is Another festive holiday shirt, but I couldn't pass it up for $7.59. That's probably another excuse people use. It was on sale, but it's cute, you guys. It's a martini. It's a wine glass with a Santa hat on it, and it's a v-neck. It's really white. Can I see through it? No, I can't see through this layer. Can I see through this Layer, no, I really can't see through it. All right, and it's really soft, like cotton. And I kind of want to wear it to the office. I hope it shrinks a little bit because you know me, I got it in XXL because everything I buy has to be huge. Because I assume it's going to shrink, although now I know that since everything's made of polyester, and this is 95% polyester, 5% spandex, it's still cute, you guys. I love this thing. It was worth, hell, hell yeah, $7.59 or whatever I just said. Yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm excited about that. I should hold something else up for a thumbnail, huh? Hold up this. Cheese. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. All of my, all of my thumbnails are stupid. Hello, I got an email from a guy offering to SEO optimize my YouTube channel. And he said, he, he said he did a, a complimentary analysis of my YouTube channel. And one of the, my weak points is I have weak thumbnails. And he's on Fiverr. And so I, I think about hiring him all the time, but this channel I think is going to slowly go like this because I really have to start watching my money in a serious way. And I don't really want it optimized because I don't have a lot of content. I have reviews, which makes me look like a sellout. Or I have um, 
you know, these Timu hauls, which, you know, Timu and I have got to break up soon. I mean, I've loved this relationship. I've loved every minute of it, but I have got to end it soon because I've got to get on with saving my money now. This shirt. <laughs> Let me pose for this shirt. Hello. Look at my snowman. It's not a shirt. It's a tunic. And please let it go over leggings. That's all I want is for it to wear this over black leggings during the holidays at the office. It is so cute. And what did I pay for this thing? I paid $9.39 and I got it in large for a change. Because why didn't I get it in 2XL though? Because I really want it to be long enough to go over leggings. I don't know, but hopefully it'll still go over leggings. I'm still dropping a few pounds here and there. I'm trying to get back down to a six. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think I need to give up on that dream. All right, that was cute. I love that thing. I mean, it's che it's holiday cheesy cute, you know? I'll take that over an ugly sweater. Well, no, I love ugly Christmas sweaters. Ugly. All right, what else? More clothes? It's a lot of clothes. I will link to this order in my description. So if you want any of these cute things. Oh, this isn't clothes. This is, and I just watched Simply Jessica Marie take hers. And she got, I've been looking at this bag that says, I've been looking at this bag that says mood on it. And then I saw Simply Jessica Marie get it. And I thought, yeah. And um, she puts pins all over hers. And it looks cool. And I like it too. And here's what I like it for. Is that I, all, I have this. I don't know if you want to call it a premonition. Or just a neurotic fear. That my position is going to get eliminated soon. Where I work. And... So I'm spending tons of money on Timu. But anyway, I need a bag like this that I can put all of my rock collection and stuff in when I do the rock walk of shame out the door, if that ever happens. And I thought that's a good bag for carrying all my stuff in the office out the door if I ever, if my position ever gets eliminated. Now, what did I pay for that? I paid, is it even in this order? It might not be. It's not. Let me bounce over to this other order. I'm doing pretty good for no glasses. Okay, why are you always in a mood? All right, it is, it was, yeah, it was only $5.58. What a bargain. All right, the last thing in here, I got, ooh, why? I got a big blanket. For $22.98, checkered imitation rabbit fur blanket. And it is now on a lightning deal for $7.37. Are you kidding me? I paid $22.98. I was partially refunded twice. I got two price adjustments on it. They had bet they better have been like reflective of of that because that's cr a crazy price drop. So if you like this blanket that I'm about to try to pull out of here, let me cut it. You better grab it for seven bucks when I paid twenty two dollars for it. Wow, I must have been. You know what happened? I probably just got my YouTube check. I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for tolerating the ads on this channel. Especially if you tolerate them the whole way through. That means so much to me. And the people who drop um, super thanks in the, in the comments, which are little tips if you like this content. And just all of you for watching, liking, commenting, uh, hitting the like button and commenting really means a lot to me too. That really, my channel made some, 
decent money last month and I was surprised and I probably had just gotten my YouTube paycheck and of course decided to put some of it back into this channel. Okay, this is a good blanket. And that's why I decided, sure, I'll buy a $22 blanket. I can't stop buying blankets. I like to snuggle up in them and hide. I have a weighted blanket. Do any of you guys have a weighted one? The weighted ones are the best. But this is um, decent thickness. I would not call it... No, if you handed it to me on the street and said, is this faux rabbit fur? I would be like, hell, no, it's not faux rabbit. It's just a soft, plush blanket, and it's really big. It is the size of my bed. It's probably why I got the biggest. I have a queen-size bed, and yeah, I mean, it's definitely goes on and on and on. I could use this. I can use this as a, as a bed blanket. So yay. All right. I think I've run my mouth enough. I'm feeling a little talkative. Oh, it's probably because I took a nap. I worked on my diamond painting today. Let me grab it off my bookshelf. The cat has demolished. I worked on my diamond painting today. I got all this stuff done right here. Yay, I only have all this stuff left to go. <laughs> oh wait, I got this part done too, okay? I don't know, you guys, I have no idea. And I think I got a frame that's gonna fit that when it's done, but am I really gonna frame that and hang it on the wall? I told my mom I was diamond painting and she goes, no, you're not. <laughs> she was, she was horrified. She said, stop it. Do something else with your time. No, I like diamond painting. It, it makes me, I like listening to podcasts and, or YouTube and diamond painting. It's like relaxing to me. Kind of. I can't, I did order a light board and I cannot wait till I get that light board. All right, so this is 27 minutes. I can't get out of the 20-minute trap lately. I know people like my long videos, and every time I get a big bag, I think, oh, yay, I can make a long video. But, um, no, here we are in the 20-something minute mark again. But I tried my best, you guys. Tomorrow, maybe, I will review that vacuum cleaner, but I also have to review a Chanel replica bag that I'm keeping. And I want to congratulate Diane for winning the Lady Dior bag. And if you didn't win, don't worry, I'm giving away two more. I've got one right there ready for me to do a giveaway. Although, here's what I'm going to do. And if you wait until the end, you'll be in on the secret. Instead of putting giveaway in the title, I'm going to put GA. And maybe that'll keep those bots out of there. It'll be like replica, review, and GA. And that'll let you know that I'm giving it away. Because I cannot deal with those bots, those scammers, those people who email people and say, congratulations, you won. Like, so I don't know how they get your email addresses. I got a lot of people saying they're getting emails now from me saying that I, that they won. And that scares me that something could get my subscribers or my commenters email addresses. So I don't like that. That sucks. So we need to come up with a code word for giveaway and it might just be GA. But anyway, there's that. I think we're done. I think I'm done talking. That's all I have to say. All right. Bye, everybody. I see my eyes are somewhat open as opposed to this morning when I love how in that video I was like, I drank coffee at four o'clock. I'm wide awake. And by the end of that video, I was struggling to keep my eyes open. <laughs> If you saw the, the video I uploaded this morning, I had filmed that last night at like 1030. And by the time I got done, it was 11 and I was just too tired to upload it. Wait for the YouTube to wait for the YouTube to check it and to um, get it all processed and stuff. So I went to bed and uploaded it this morning. 
But anyway, I like this blanket. I give this blanket two thumbs up. Why I chose this color, I have no idea. Oh, because it matches my walls and this thing maybe. Yeah, that's probably why I chose it. And I love all the clothes, you guys. I love every all the clothes. The vase is kind of like a eh. The vase is the only thing in this haul that I'm kind of like, what what is that about? But other than that, it was a great haul. I love the mood bag. And there you go. That's my thoughts, my reviews, my honest reviews on this haul. And thank you for watching. If you watched, if you hit the like button, thank you so much. And I hope that you have a pleasant evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much. How do I stop this thing?